From a list of 72 possible locations, NSO selected sites in the Canary Islands, Mexico, New Mexico, Utah, California, and Hawaii for testing. Survey towers gathered two years of data on seeing conditions, such as how bright the sky gets near the edge of the sun. Of all the sites, Haleakala, as it rises above the lower turbulent layers of the atmosphere, had the darkest, clearest skies. We have to have a sky which, which doesn't uh, cause distortion of the image, so we can see with crisp detail the fine, fine and the small features in the atmosphere of the sun that connect to the big events that, that produce, the, for example, the explosions that we feel here on the Earth. If you get up high enough in a tropical site over the ocean, you get above what's called an inversion layer, and up there the air isn't very turbulent and the dust and the, um, the debris from lower elevations doesn't make it into the sky above you. And for most locations on the Earth, this blue sky is in fact an indicator of, of, of a bright sky that interferes with our ability to see the sun's atmosphere that stretches into space and extends, in some cases, all the way to the Earth. So that's, that's, that's really the reason why Haleakala becomes a unique and an important site for doing these solar observations. Because it's in the tropics and it's high enough that the site pokes up above the turbulent layer. Today, the ATSD project is ready to move forward as a partnership of the NSO, the National Science Foundation, the University of Hawaii, and many others. We also seek partnerships with educational and other institutions in Hawaii to help train the next generations of scientists, observers, and operators who will use ATST. Um, the ATST is, uh, is new technology. Um, it represents for us and for mankind a jump in capabilities from the ground, which is larger than any jump since the age of Galileo. You're better off working it from the ground now that we have adaptive optics, where a telescope placed on a truly excellent mountain site can begin to see sharply enough to see the activity on the sun. It's, uh, it's not just a telescope, and it's, it's an instrument that measures and monitors and hopefully will teach us to understand and explain and even predict the changes in the sun that affect what happens here on the Earth. It will revolutionize our understanding of solar magnetism and the activities that impact the Earth, our environment, and our civilization. The combination of exceptional seeing, exceptional capabilities, and exceptional people will provide an observatory serving the nation and the world through the 21st century. With ATST, Hawaii will lead the world in studying and understanding the star that is closest and most important to humankind.